Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown, and I'm a Senior Creative Director here at Adobe Systems, as well as a Photoshop Evangelist. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss one of my favorite new features inside of Adobe Photoshop CS5 Extended. Now, in the Extended version of Photoshop, there are some great capabilities, of course, for animation, as you can see here in the Animation Timeline window. You can also use these great capabilities up here under the Analysis menu right here. But what's really great are the new capabilities for 3D support in Photoshop CS5 Extended. And one in particular is Repousé. In this project, I'm going to demonstrate how to create 3D text from a simple 2D text layer. I'm going to, of course, extrude the text as you see here. I'm going to use a new feature called Ground Plane Shadow Catcher to cast the shadow, as you can see here, onto the background wall. I can add textures to each of the individual surfaces of my 3D text. As you can see here, some brick, some glass, and even this organic texture. All of these are built into Photoshop CS5 Extended. Okay, just exactly how do you do this? Well, let's start from the beginning back here with my text layer right here. Let's go through this step by step. First of all, I'm going to target my layer, then go to my 3D menu and down to Repousé and over to Text Layer, one of the selections I can make. As you can see here, it's now changed my text into a 3D object that I can move just like this with this tool. But what's really great is over here in the Repousé dialog because I can first select one of the mini Repousé shape presets, as you can see here. I select it. It instantly then applies that preset to my selected shape. Really fantastic. Let's go back to this one right here. Then over here, I can select Materials. Clicking on this flyout menu for all of the surfaces, I can see this great collection of materials that I can instantly just click on and it will apply it to my text. This is really great. So easy. I'm going to select this item right here. Clicking away, I can continue to adjust any of these settings that you see here. Then finally down here, I'll click OK. Now that's our first step in this process. In our next step, we'd go and set up our ground plane. I'm going to go over here and double click on my layer and bring up my ground plane, as you see here. Because I can go in and target the ground plane and move it into perspective so it lines up with my background image. I can then hide that and then continue to target my 3D item and adjust that with the 3D adjustment tools until it's in the correct position, as you see here. Then next, I'm going to go back up to my 3D menu to show you this great new feature I discussed earlier called Ground Plane Shadow Catcher right here. If I select that and then go over here to my Scene Settings and down here to Quality, I can select Ray Traced Draft right here because I want to take an initial step in the draft mode to see how the shadow is casting here onto the wall. When I'm done, I'd shift from the draft mode to the final mode, just like this. I can, of course, go in and adjust the softness of the light and the direction of the light to get it just the way I want it. So it's an amazing new way of working on 3D objects, and especially in this case, 3D text, to create some really, really interesting effects. So there you have it, one of my favorite new features here inside of Photoshop CS5 Extended.